But if this, this is my final blog as the U.S. ambassador to Armenia. There's so much that I want to say. There's so much that I'm thankful for. I'm not really even sure where to start. We've done a lot together these last three plus years since my wife Libby and I arrived in Yerevan in October 2011. Our mission, the U.S. Embassy's mission, is clear to help Armenia succeed as a democratic, prosperous, peaceful, and secure country. And to do this, we've tried to focus on opportunities, partnership, and shared values. We've seen some successes in these years. For example, Open Skies has increased air passenger traffic to Armenia by 25%. A thriving information technology sector with strong participation by U.S. companies and increased Western investment in other sectors as well. We've seen some improvements in the business climate and hope to see more in the months and years ahead. And a vibrant civil society pushing for positive change. And finally, cooperation in rural development and tourism and food processing to try to create jobs in Armenia's regions. In addition, the United States will continue to do whatever it can to promote Turkey-Armenia reconciliation and to find a peaceful, negotiated settlement to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Success in these two areas will do more than anything to open up this strategically important region. A successful Armenia has job opportunities for its people, a level playing field in both politics and business, political space for different viewpoints and different interests, and tolerance for that diversity. And finally, a successful Armenia has strategic options both in the region and internationally. Armenia's international friends and partners cannot accomplish all this alone. We can help, but Armenians need to accomplish these shared objectives together. The Embassy has tried to identify Armenian partners who share our values and who are trying to help improve the lives of Armenian citizens. And we found many such partners in every sector, in every NGO, in the media, in private companies, in the ministries, political parties. We found these partners and we're working with them. But these Armenian partners also need to work together with each other to accomplish their shared objectives. If these like-minded groups work together to improve the business climate and governance here, to open up the electoral process, and to create a climate of innovation, entrepreneurship, confidence, and tolerance, that I'm sure Armenia's future is bright. With all the smart, creative, innovative people that I've gotten to know during my time here, I believe Armenia's future is as a knowledge-based economy. That's what we've been trying to promote at the Embassy, and I'm confident that my successor, Rick Mills, will continue the same effort. In closing, thank you very much for everything that you've done for my wife Libby and me during our time in Armenia. Thank you for the warm welcome that we've received in every village and town and region and Mars that we visited. But most of all, thank you for all that you're doing to help Armenia succeed and to deepen U.S.-Armenia ties. Best wishes. I hope very much to see my Armenian friends again soon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.